Hello friends, let's have a look at another problem today which is friend circle problem. So the problem statement is, uh, there are n students in a class, every student can have 0 or more friends. If A is a friend of B and B is a friend of C, then A and C are also friends. So we define a friend circle as a group of students who are friends as given by above definition. So we have been given an n by n matrix friends which consist of characters y or n. If friends i j equal to y, then ith and jth student are friends. Similarly, friends ij equal to n, then i and j are not friends. So we have to find the total number of such friend circles in the class. So let's start with an example. Consider four student 1, 2, 3 and 4 for which friend matrix is as shown. Every student can be considered as friend of himself. So friend i, I equal to y for all i. Let's start with student 1 and find out his friend circle. Let us first define a visited array such that visited i equal to y, which means student is seen in one of the friend circle. Initialize all values of visited array as n, which means none of the student are added to any friend circle. Let's visualize friend circle by creating 4 nodes, 1, 2, 3, 4 of a graph. Let's start with student 1 and hence number of circle equal to 1. We have visited uh, stu student 1 and that is why we mark visited 1 to y. Now let's uh, next uh, now first step is to find all friends of student 1. This can be done by finding all entries in row 1 which are y. Ignore the first column and similar entries henceforth where student is friend of himself. So we jump to second column of first row which is y and denotes that student 1 and student 2 are friends. Mark visited 2 as y and connect node 1 and 2. As soon as we see a new visited node which is 2 in this case, we try to find friends of student 2. So basically we are doing depth first traversal to form one friend circle. So let's jump to second row and first and find elements of or find friends of 2 which has not been seen yet. We can observe that third column value is y which means student 2 and student 3 are friends and since student 3 has not been seen yet, mark visited 3 equal to y and connect node 2 and 3. Now let's try to find unvisited friends of student 3. We see that student 3 uh, has uh, friends with only student 2 which is already visited. So we go back to finding more unvisited student of uh, un unvisited friends of 2. Since again for student 2 there are no more unvisited friends, we return back to student 1. Now since again for student 1 there are no more unvisited friends, we are done with finding all friends of student 1. Now find next unvisited student to search another friend circle. In this case, student 4 is unvisited. Since we started new friend circle, increment number of circles to 2 and mark visited 4 as y. Since we can see that there are no friends of student 4, we are done with students in circle 2. Now since there are no unvisited student left, so our solution for the number of friend circle is 2. I hope uh, the explanation was clear enough. So we will jump to the algorithm for this problem. Uh, so we start with first student which is first row i equal to 0, set visited i equal to y. Then initialize number of circles to 1. Move to next student j for which m i j equal to y and set visited j equal to y. So recursively find friends of j and mark them visited to till all students that can be reached from i equal to 0 are covered. These will form one friend circle. Once all friends of student 1 are traversed, we move to next unvisited student and increment number of circles by 1. We repeat the above steps till all the students are visited. And finally we return number of circles. Let's quickly take a look at the code for this algorithm. First initialize number of circles equal to 0 and visited array with all value false. Then traverse students which are not visited till now and find all friends of that student. Now find friend function is depth first traversal to figure out friend circle for a student. While doing depth first traversal, we mark visited i equal to true if we visit a student. I hope the algorithm is pretty much clear. 
Please let us know your comments and thoughts on this problem and the solution. Thanks.